Today's encouragement. How to move from failure to success. People often pray for victory which is a catch-all word meaning the answer to a crisis whether it be financial, emotional, marital, or any other major issue. Fighting for any victory is powerful, God-glorifying, and worthy. Once we win the victory, we need to know the biblical principles to maintain victorious living and to abide in Christ continually. The first principle is, it is easier to obtain than to maintain. It is easier to win territory in a war than to govern the territory once the war is over. It is easier to win a person to marriage than to keep the marriage healthy and thriving after the wedding. It is easier to buy a car than to keep the car in good running condition once bought. In every area of life, it is easier to obtain than to maintain. Secondly, God's pattern for success is a pattern of purification. God never begins or ends on a negative. God's plan for us begins with the positive and will end with the positive. We will reach our positive ends through purification. God's pattern for our lives is a pattern of growth. Under His care, we grow, expand, enlarge, and accept greater responsibility. To grow in God, we must pass His tests of growth, which come through crises. The crisis does not necessarily make us strong but shows how strong we are. If we are strong enough to pass, we realize our strength and become even stronger in faith, courage, conviction, and a variety of spiritual attributes. We can either pass or fail each test. If we fail, we carry that failure with us. The process of purification purifies us from failure. To purify us, God presents us with the same test, and we end up experiencing the same or similar crisis again. But before God will bring us back to test us a second time, He will cause us to grow. He wants to bring us back ready this time to pass the test, to replace our failure with success, and to move on. So, thirdly, we must be willing to accept responsibility for failure before we are able to accept responsibility for success. By accepting responsibility for failure, we open ourselves to be tested a second time, which will purify us from the previous failure. We accept responsibility for failure which enables us to accept responsibility for success. Often men don't want to be put to the test again. But it is only by doing it again that they can become purified from a previous failure. Many don't want to pursue an education, a job the role of parenthood, and just about any true accomplishment in life because they don't want the responsibility for having their activities fail. What about you? Romans 5 3-5 Not only so. But we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Be encouraged. A. Yell. October 22, 2023. God bless you.